Our students, dear tenth class students, welcome to our maths class. Uh, today we are, uh, of course, continuing the coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry, first exercise, exercise seven point one. And uh, exercise seven point one, we completed eleven problems. Now this is twelfth. Write down the question. Find the value of y for which the distance between those two points is ten. Same as uh, 11th problem, same as 11th, 11th we did, uh, 12th is uh, P is uh, 2 comma minus 3, Q is uh, 10 comma Y, 2 comma minus 3, 10 comma Y, the distance between these two is 10, distance between these two points, P Q is equal to 10 given, same as 11th problem, just have a look at 11th problem, say, so distance between P and Q is 10, it is given, distance between P and Q is 10, what is the distance formula students, root of P Q distance formula, x first coordinate minus first coordinate whole square, 10 minus 2 whole square plus y minus of minus 3, whole square is equal to 10. 10 minus 2 whole square, y minus of minus 3 whole square. So, this is 10 minus 2 is e8, minus of minus 6, y plus 3 whole square is equal to 10. Squaring both sides. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. If it's square, Left side root cancel. E8 square is same. Y plus 3 whole square is same. Right side you get square. 10 square is 100. See squaring both sides means right side it is 10. 10 square is how much? 100. 10 into 10. Or you write one more step. 10 you will get square. But why we are not writing square on the left side? The square and root cancel. There is no root here. Now simplification. 8 square is 64 plus a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab 6y plus b square 9 minus 10 square is 100. So this is y square plus 6y. 64 plus 9 is 73. 73. Minus 100, minus 27. You know how to solve this equation. You can use the formula or uh, factorizing. Tell me two numbers. Their sum should be 6. Product is 27. 9, 3 is Students, 9, 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 into 3 is 27. Minus 27 y common y plus 9 uh, minus 3 common y minus common means plus 27 is 3 into 9 3 into 9 so the factors are y plus 9 common y minus 3 so y plus 9 is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 9 y minus 3 is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 if product of two factors is equal to 0 means first is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0. If first is equal to 0 plus 9 that said minus 9. If second is equal to 0 minus 3 that said plus 3. Therefore y is equal to minus 9 or 3. Two answers. This is the question. Same as 11th problem which we already did. P and Q are given. Distance between them is 10 is given. What is the distance formula? x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus into minus plus 3 10 minus 2 is 8 squaring both sides so the root cancel this left side root cancel right side get 10 square simplification and here onwards you know we, we solve these many problems in quadratic equations chapter how to solve the equations we know so right
find the radius of the circle whose center is 3 comma 2. Students, simple. What is the center? 3 comma 2. Center. I denoted the center of the circle by O. Find the radius of the circle whose center is 3 comma 2 and passes through minus 5 comma 6. There is a point minus 5 comma 6. Uh, say this is P. The circle center of the circle is 3 comma 2 and circle is passing through minus 5 comma 6. Circle is passing through minus 5 comma 6. So what is the radius of this circle? What is the radius of this circle? What is the radius of this circle? Center of the circle is 3 comma 2 and circle is passing through minus 5 comma 6. What is the radius definition? Radius definition is the distance from center of the circle to any point of the circle. Any point. This distance, this distance, this distance, this distance, any distance. This is called radius. Radius is distance between the center of the circle and any point on the circle. So, if you apply the distance formula for this point and this point, we will get the radius. Right on, students. Given points are O, 3, 2, P, minus 5, 6. So, radius is nothing but this distance between these two distance from the center to any point on the circle that distance is called radius distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle that distance is radius so op distance root of x2 minus x1 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square Minus 5 minus 3 whole square. 6 minus 2 whole square. Minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8. This is 4. X2 minus X1 whole square. X2 minus X1 minus 5 minus 3 whole square. Y2 minus Y1. So, because this is small problem only, I will write the formula also. See here students. Root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is root of minus 5 minus 3 whole square plus 6 minus 2 whole square. Minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8 whole square. This is 4 whole square is equal to minus 8 whole square is 64 plus 4 square is 16 root 18 units. This is the radius. In the answer it may be further simplified. We can write root 80 as uh, uh, 16 into 5. 16 5 is 80. Root 16 is 4. Root square root of 16 is 4. Root 5 is root 5. Only. Like this also we can write. Or you can delete here. <clears throat> Students, next to fourth point. Fourteenth one, can you draw a triangle with vertices? So write down given points. Given points are A. I am taking the first point as A which is 1 comma 5. I am taking the second point as B which is 5 comma 8. And I am taking the third point is 13 comma 14. <coughs> 1 comma 5, 3, 5 comma 8, 13 comma 14. 1, 5, 3, 5, 8, 13, 14. <coughs> Find the uh, <coughs> question is 
Can you draw a triangle with vertices? These vertices. Can a triangle is possible with these vertices or not? See students. Suppose <coughs> A, B, B, C, <coughs> C, A. <coughs> three lengths. Suppose these three values are say 5, 6, 11. <coughs> If sum of two smaller lengths is equal to greater length, then the points are collinear. This already I gave the definition. If the sum of two smaller lengths is equal to greater length, then the points are collinear. The points are collinear. <clears throat> Next. If sum of two sides is greater than the third one, suppose this is say... Uh, Eight. If sum of two smaller sides is greater than the third one, then the triangle is formed. If it is less, triangle is not formed. If this is like this also, triangle is not formed. So, uh, now we will find all the three lengths. First, find the length of AB. Students, find the distance between A and B. Apply distance formula. Find the distance. Find the distance between B and C. Find the distance between A and C. I am finding the three distances and after that I will explain uh, how, whether the given points are forming a triangle or not. So first to find AB distance. AB distance formula. X2 minus X1 whole square. 5 minus 1 whole square. Plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. A2 minus 5 whole square. X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. 5 minus 1 is 4 square plus this is 8 minus 5 is 3 square. So 4 square is 16 plus 5 square is 9. 16 plus 9 root 25 is 5. <coughs> Finally AB distance is 5. Find BC distance. Same distance formula but take B and C points. 13 minus 5 whole square. 13 minus 5 whole square plus 13 minus 5 whole square plus 14 minus 8 whole square. 13 minus 5 is 8. 14 minus 8 is 6. 8 square is 64. 6 square is 36 plus 64 is 100. Root 100 is 10. Now AC, AC, 13 minus 1 whole square, A and C points distance formula, X2 minus X1 whole square, Y2 minus Y1 whole square. So well, 14 minus 5 is 9. 12 square is 144 plus 81 is 225. Square root of 225 is 15. Now, if you add these two, we are getting this. Here, what happens? AB distance plus BC distance. See, 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. That means AB distance plus BC distance is equal to AC distance. If sum of two distances is equal to third distance, then definitely the points are collinear. Already I gave the definition and we solved one problem also on collinear. To show that three points are collinear, find this distance, this distance and this distance. If three distance, after finding three distances, if sum of two distances is equal to third one, any two distances, sum of these two is equal to this also become collinear. Sum of these two is equal to this also collinear. So here 5 plus 10 is exactly equal to 15. Hence the points are collinear. Collinear means it is not a triangle. Triangle means B point should be somewhere here. So that we will get a triangle like this. So if B points, uh, B approaches, approaches and B is on this line, it is not a triangle. So this, is it a triangle? No, it is a line. It is a line. Hence, with these points, triangle is not possible. No triangle is formed. The points are collinear. These points are collinear. 
they are not the vertices of the triangle they are not the vertices of the triangle they don't form the triangle the points are on the same line triangle is not formed can these points form a triangle no hence they are not the vertices of a triangle no triangle is formed right no triangle is formed triangle is not formed because the points are collinear so triangle suppose if b point is not on the line if it is somewhere here then that is a triangle they are not the vertices of a triangle triangle is not formed by the given points like that also you can write hence tri no triangle is formed by the given points no triangle is formed by the given points no triangle is formed by the given points Question is very simple, students. Uh, what is the relation between x y and y such that x y is equal distance from the point? See here. And it is given that distance of P from A. What is that? P A is equal to distance of P from B. P A is equal to P B. Given. PA distance is equal to PB distance. It is given in the problem. This is equal distance. Equal distance means equal distance from A and B. That means P is a point, A is a point, B is a point. This PA distance is equal to PB distance. Both the distance are equal. PA distance is equal to PB distance. Distance are equal. That means PA distance is equal to PB distance. Student, P A distance, distance from P to A. Apply the distance formula. Root of C A square. X minus of minus 2 whole square. P A distance formula. X minus of minus 2 whole square plus Y minus 8 whole square. Students, P B. P B. P B distance x minus of minus 3 whole square y minus of minus 5 whole square distance formula <clears throat> now squaring on both sides so that I will remove the roots squaring on both sides root cancel minus into minus plus 2 whole square plus y minus y whole square minus into minus plus 3 whole square plus y plus 5 whole square <coughs> simplification <coughs> a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square. Right side a plus b whole square. x square plus 2ab plus b square. a plus b whole square. y square plus 2ab. 10y plus 25. Students, this x square, this side minus x square. So x square 
minus x square cancel y square and minus y square cancel bring all the terms to the left side 4x minus 16y 4 plus 64 68 plus 6x this side minus 6x plus 10y this side minus 10y 9 plus 25 is 34 34 this side minus 34 so 4x minus 6x is minus 2x minus 16 minus 10 is minus 26y 68 minus 34 is plus 34 take minus 2 common x plus 13y minus 17 is equal to 0 0 by minus 2 is 0 this is the relation between x and y so we have to find one relation between x and y that is over so we are not asked to find x y values so that's all Students, simple concept PA is equal to PB. If you understand this step, it is over. Problem is over. After this, you know, you know distance formula because total exercise in many problems we applied this for distance formula. Almost all this is the last problem. So many problems we applied the distance formula. X minus minus 2 whole square. Y minus 8 whole square. Distance between P, P and A. Next distance between P and B x minus of minus 3 whole square y minus of minus 5 whole square and cancelling root on both side removing the root on both side that is called squaring square means root cancels root cancels there is no root here now simplification a plus b whole square a minus b whole square is formula applied on both side all the terms to the left side x square cancel y square cancel finally this is the simplified relation <coughs> Uh, one more problem left in this uh, that is the fifth one see the graph question
स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द गिवन ग्राफ Now tell me, students, tell A, B, C, D points. You know how to tell A point. See here. If you are not, if you are not able to see this, you see the textbook. See here how to tell the A points. A means horizontal distance becomes the first coordinate. The vertical distance becomes the second coordinate. Horizontal distance. So what is A? A is one square, two squares, three squares. So one, two, three squares. So after three squares, a point is there. What is the horizontal distance? One unit, two units, three. Three. X value is three. One, two, three. Ah, next y value is vertical. One, two, three, four. One box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes. So four. <coughs> next b point. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes. The horizontal is six. Vertical is one box. Up, up is one box. C point. Horizontal is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. Vertical is one, two, three, four boxes. Four. D point horizontal one two three four five six boxes. Vertical is one two three four five six seven boxes. <coughs> These are the points. Now you have to you forget about the diagram. Show that this is a is it a square or not? Square means all sides should be equal. Find AB distance. Find BC distance. Find CD distance. See here. Square. Find A B distance, B C distance, C D distance, D A distance, and also find the diagonals. What is the condition for the square? All sides are equal. Diagonals also equal. A B B C C D D A A C B D. If all sides are equal and these two diagonals also equal, then we can call it as a square. So let us find A B distance to it. A B distance formula. X two minus x one whole square six minus three whole square plus one minus four whole square. Six minus three is three square. This is minus three whole square root of three square is nine. This is also nine. I am writing direct step root eighteen. Similarly, I will apply distance formula for B and C students. B C nine minus six whole square plus Four minus one whole square. Nine minus six is three. Four minus one also three. Three square is nine plus nine is eighteen. This is also root eighteen. Next another distance. A B over B C over. Now I am finding C D. C D. Six minus nine whole square. Seven minus four whole square. Six minus nine is minus three. This is plus three. Three square nine nine eighty. Next, find the diagonal. All sides are uh, AB, BC, CD. Uh, AB, BC, CD, and DA also. So DA also. DA or AD? Any? AB is over. BC is over. CD is over. Now we have to find DA distance. DA. See, this is A. This is D. Six minus three whole square. Seven minus four whole square. Six minus three. See, this is seven minus four also. Three square nine nine eighty. That is also eighty. Now, I am diagonals. I am finding AC. What are the diagonals, friends? AC is one diagonal. BD is diagonal. AC diagonal. A and C find the distance. Distance formula same nine minus three whole square 
फोर माइनस फोर होल स्क्वेर नाइन माइनस थ्री सिक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर माइनस फोर इज जीरो सो दिस इज जीरो ओनली स्क्वेर रूट कैंसल सिक्स आंसर एंड ए सी अदर डायगनल इज बी डी डायगनल बी डी फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन बी एंड डी स्टूडेंट बी एंड डी सिक्स माइनस सिक्स होल स्क्वेर सेवन माइनस वन होल स्क्वेर सिक्स माइनस सिक्स इज जीरो सेवन माइनस वन इज सिक्स सो आंसर इज सिक्स हियर ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी सी इज इक्वल टू सी डी इज इक्वल टू डी ए ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड डायगनल्स आल्सो इक्वल स्टूडेंट्स सी रूट एन रूट एन रूट एन फोर साइड्स आर इक्वल डायगनल्स आल्सो इक्वल सो इफ ऑल साइड्स ए बी बी सी सी डी डी ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड डायगनल्स आल्सो इक्वल हेंस इट इज अ स्क्वायर हेंस A B C D form a square. Right now, with this, this exercise is completed. So complete the students first. So this compulsory you have to do. Examples one to nine, all nine examples compulsory you do today, and uh, see the answers in the example. It is already solved. So, but don't copy that solution. You see the question and you do your own. All nine examples compulsory you have to do because examples are very very important. They may come in the exam. So because exercise problems I am solving, example problems you do it. If you get any doubt, anyway, the solution is there and answer is there. So compulsory you have to do. Otherwise, uh, you may uh, miss them in the exam. If you don't do it, so in the exam also you may you may not get any idea how to solve it. So compulsory nine examples you have to do. 